Professor Halix's kaleidoscopic antibiotic. I think I need a replacement body. Mine's rubbish. Oh, come on. That's not true. Your body is doing a great job of protecting you from infections. Doesn't feel like it. Go on. Do us a favour and take a look inside me, would you, Nanabot? Oh, all right. I'll charge up the heli Telly bubble and get down to the size of an atom to investigate. Back in a jiffy. heli Telly bubble ready for launch in three, two, one. Gosh. It's getting hot as we approach the professor's skin. He's got quite a fever. Welcome to the immune system in action. Microbes like being at the body's normal temperature, 37 degrees Celsius. They don't like it when the body raises the temperature to help fight off infections. That's what happens when you have a fever. Mm. Even at this size, it's very difficult to get inside a human body. Skin is designed to be a tough, waterproof barrier that keeps foreign things out. That's why if you have a cut or a graze, it's a good idea to wash and cover up so that infections can't sneak in. Let's try somewhere different. Setting coordinates for the ear. Oh, it tickles. Careful as you go. Don't bonk me on the stirrup. Even where there are holes, like your ears and nose, you'll find substances like mucus, earwax and hairs, all designed to trap particles and viruses. And the professor certainly has got hairy ears. Hold on. In four micrometres, bear right on the eustachian tube and merge with the throat. Travelling down the professor's lungs now. Left a bit. Oh! He's got a chest infection by the look of it. I can see Streptococcus pneumoniae bacteria. There's certainly a lot of them around, gathering in pairs. No wonder he's feeling so grotty. White blood cells have been detected. The body's immune system has been activated. As you may know, there's more to blood than just, well, blood. As well as red blood cells that carry oxygen to all parts of the body, platelets and other substances suspended in a fluid called plasma, blood also contains white blood cells that help the body fight infections. Look, here comes a lymphocyte. That's a type of white blood cell coming to the rescue. Some lymphocytes produce special proteins called antibodies, which attach to the surface of the harmful microbe, like a key in a lock, helping to destroy them. Different lymphocytes have different keys, so sometimes it takes a while for the human body to find the right match. But when it is found, the microbes are in trouble. Sometimes antibodies will cause the harmful microbes to burst open to prevent them from reproducing. What's going on in there, Nanobot? If I'm right, this lymphocyte is using its antibodies to alert the phagocytes. They're a different type of white blood cell. Yup, here they come. They're chasing the bacteria and are eating it. Incredible! Although I don't want them to think I'm a harmful bacteria. Time to go. I think we're being followed. The clever thing about the immune system is that once white blood cells have successfully defeated the bacteria, other cells, called memory cells, remain in their body. This way, if the same microbe appears again, the body has its defences ready. I do believe I'm feeling a little better, Nanobot. Thanks for giving me a checkup. Don't thank me. Thank those hard-working white blood cells and all your other body's defences. Professor Halix's kaleidoscopic antibiotic. We support from eBug and Public Health England. Find out more at funkidslive.com/halux or visit e-bug.eu.